Sometimes you know before you even get started, before you leave out the house, before you get in the car, before you drive an hour, and everywhere in Atlanta is an hour. I should have stayed at home. You know it. Before you leave, you know it. And now you have to sit through it and bear it out because it's your boy or your girl and you know you should have stayed at home. All right. I got this callet, this new callet going on in my ears. Someone made a request. They want to do a, a video and they want that music to be in the background. So I'm kind of listening to it to try to get a feel for it. That joint is hot. That's going to be a hot video. Real quick. Yesterday I did three miles at the park. Not just running, but like uphill, downhill, over stumps, over rocks, around the lake. If you saw that lake, you'd be like, oh, there's no way in hell you walked over there. Yes, I did. And I'm feeling it today. You know, most people, what you want to do is you want to take it easy. But I need to get back into it quick. I'm supposed to be headed to uh, Jekyll Island, St. Simons real soon. So I got to get it together. I can't be out there on the beach and, and trying to navigate all of those places. And I ain't in shape. Can't do that. I really wanted to jump on the car today. And actually, with it being such an overcast day, this might not be a bad day. But I got a couple things that I need to jump on real quick before I get to that. And again, I want to say, I want to thank you guys for, for, for checking me out. Even if you're just kind of curious as to what the hell is he going to do next. I know that crap in the park. If you had a been there with me, you would have been like, dude, this ain't cool. This ain't right. That's not the kind of place that you go to if it's not a public park. If you don't understand that, I don't know what to tell you. And I think in a minute, I'm going to let Shadow out because he's going ballistic. He saw me come outside and he's like, what the hell are you doing? How come you're not taking me with you? So I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to let him come out. Y'all just don't understand. That dude is off the chain. Amazing. I think it's stuck on the drain. Can y'all see that? It's not making it up the hill, so. I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, it might be full. And looking at the pool, how clear and clean it is, that might be a good bet. I think I'm gonna have to make a run to the pool spot again. There are no chemicals in the water, but we've had rain and rain is a killer on a pool. Just to make sure 
that I'm not missing something because I'm kind of skeptical about this new test here. Got a little bit of fluorine in it, but practically none. So the pool doctor says, first, go save the Polaris. Over there. And second, put some chemicals in the water. Third, go take care of that other thing. And I just might get the power washer out. Maybe. Looks like he saved himself, so what the heck. The next time you get invited to a pool party, keep this in mind. If they don't have the chemicals right, if the inside of the pool doesn't look right, it just might be your best bet to sit in a chair on the side and enjoy a hot dog. And that's why I didn't let him out while I was testing. Between the chlorine and the chemicals, he don't know the difference. Where you going? Where you going? You know it's like a catch 22. You have to let them out so that they can experiment and check things out so nothing's new anymore. Because anything new, they go ballistic. So you let them out let them get comfortable, and then eventually, they sit their ass down somewhere. But none of that applies when they're puppies. They get into everything. I'm stuck. I let him out.
all of the toys out here. And he plays with a stick. I'm not trying to take it from you. If life could be so simple. Think about if that was the leg of your chair in the kitchen. Think about if that was the bumper on your car. Think about if that was the $300 pair of shoes you just bought. It ain't his fault. I bet you you could guess who's fault. Shadow. Shadow. And that's how you find him when you come home if you didn't put him in a crate. You can let him have free run of your house if you want to. This little turkey knows how to open his cage. Not when it's locked, but he can open that door. Open it and close it. He can open the outside door. And his bark is so crazy that you can't ignore it. Not even with noise canceling headphones. A little tip, a little trick. Give them a whole bunch of toys, bones, stuff that makes noise, colorful stuff, and have a whole bunch of biscuits or milk bones or whatever they call it. All of that stuff will guarantee you, well, I won't say guarantee, but it'll help ensure that when he gets to be two or three, you will still have furniture and you won't have to call somebody in to finish the floors or to replace the carpet. Are you done? Are you done? Cause I still have work to do. Just like kids, they will change your life. I think that was a lesson. I appreciate you tuning in, checking out what we're doing. Hopefully something that we've done kind of strikes a chord with you. Hopefully you find something in what we're doing that kind of motivates you to maybe step up your game and what you're doing at home outside of your job or photography or modeling. Until next time, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you on the other side. Did you guys see the new sunglasses? I'm working hard on these guys. I may or may not get it, but either way, like I said before, I love the sunglasses. If you like them, hit me up in the DM. I'll tell you who they are. Maybe let them know that I sent you and that way uh, we can get some credit for it. Appreciate you. Be safe. Enjoy the summer. Get your vaccines so you can enjoy the summer without worrying about it. I'm not gonna say that I caught a copperhead out here a couple years back. And for those of you who don't know what a copperhead snake is, let me put it to you this way. Animal control didn't wanna come get it. They told me to kill it. 